Hi folks, welcome to Do More Evo. In this video I'll be showing a number of controllers and comparing them all. So I'll start from the bottom, this is the PlayStation 3 6 axis controller DualShock. This is the Xbox 360, their newest controller. This is the Wii U Pro controller. And here is the Wii U Gamepad controller. On the right side this is the Wii Motion Plus inside controller and the PlayStation Move. Now I'm not really going to talk too much about the Move in the the Wii U, the sorry the Wii Motion Plus controller because those are pretty much on in a category of its own. These are more more for motion games. You can play some games like Mario or Mario Kart and archery, some stuff like that, but. It's really in a category of its own. As for the Sony PS3 controller, uh, I don't know. Many people like it, but for me and a number of my friends, this controller just doesn't feel right. Uh, the, this part of our hand over here, right, right under the thumb, it hurts after playing um, with a, with uh, any some game after two three hours. And we always got to, we always got to take a break, and also with this trigger, uh, sometimes we just found it easier to buy the third party extender for this uh, the L2 R2 triggers. This the analogs, it is okay. It's not bad. It's just a, it's the controller could have been made. Um, with more ergonomic consideration, considering people play their console games sometimes two, three hours, and just holding this for that long is not that comfortable. It is very light though, and it's got vibration, it's wireless. Now, for this controller, the Xbox 360 controller, this one is a lot more comfortable on your hands, especially on the, uh, the palm right under your thumb. It has a nice rest to it. The LT, RT buttons, very easy to access. It's a bit heavier. Uh, the the D-pad, I like how if you're playing fighting games or a certain type of game, you can always just pop out or make it protrude so they can easily distinguish what you're trying to use it for, the moves you're trying to make. And overall, I like the Xbox controller a lot. I like how there's a little indentation for the, the thumb sticks. Whereas in PS3, it's just an arch. It's okay, It's uh, but somehow, for some reason, I like these more. Now, the Pro Controller. I do like how over here is elongated. It's not as steep. Of a drop as the PS3. It, has, it shares similar char uh, characteristics as the Xbox. Uh, in my earlier posts, I said that it kind of reminded me of the Dreamcast controller, and it's, in some ways it does, but a lot of my viewers, I think they were just too young to remember what, not, not, not Dreamcast, the um, Genesis controller. I think a lot of my viewers are just too young to remember what the Genesis controller was. Now, what I don't dig on the Pro Controller is the, the uh, trigger buttons. They're very small. Very, very small. And the way it's designed, I don't know if you, if you, you can even buy third-party attachments to um, make it easier to grip onto. The trigger controllers on the uh, Xbox 360, very comfortable, very easy to access. Pro Controller, eh, I'm not digging it. PS3, not a big fan of it either, but at least it's larger than the Wii U Pro Controller. This one, it does have rumbo, and it is pretty darn light. So weight-wise, this feels like the Xbox controller feels like it's at least twice as heavy as the Wii U and the PS3 controller. Probably because of the uh, battery pack, just the battery pack itself. And without a battery pack, the weight's about the same. But with the battery pack, 
it adds it almost almost doubles its weight. Now for this, the Wii U gamepad controller, it's good. Um, even the triggers back here, it looks small, but it's uh, easy to access. And since your hand is basically uh, holding it based on these marks here, you have to lift it through these these grips. It's you can fairly easily access the R, Z, and L, Z buttons. I mean. If they made it any longer, it'd be weird because every time you rest the controller down, it would just press against the whatever resting surface you have, and it'll essentially press the buttons for you. So right now, it just misses it. But there are a lot of times when I'm resting it on some table, and I rest it this way first, then put it down, then I end up touching those buttons and scrolling or navigating the menus. Now the the thumbsticks, it's semi comfortable. Uh, reason I say semi is because you see how there is a um, these little ring on top, so that helps with the grip. Whereas on a PS3, all they did, all they did was put a uh, a little texture, rough texture here, for it to grip to your thumb. It's not that great. The Xbox a little indentation here, over here, there's a little ring. That protrudes and just grips onto your hand, so it's 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 like a mesh between the PS3 and the Xbox 360 in terms of how it adheres to your thumb. Now the weight, the Pro controller, it looks heavy, but it's only probably slightly heavier than the Xbox 360 controller, and thankfully, it's very well balanced. You don't, I would not expect to be playing any one-handed game like uh, was that Bayonetta? That one's advertised to be just play with one hand, and no, you are not going to be able to do that with a game like this, a control pad like this, the game pad. With two hands holding this thing, very comfortable. Everything just is just within your thumb's reach. Well, there you have it, my little uh, review and comparison of each of the three popular console controllers, the Xbox, Wii U, and the PS3. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to send to me. Thanks for watching. Do more Evo. Bye.